is a rider that refused to stop for enforcers. He's using a big bike, so they've given chase now. And although the rider made it quite far, I just heard on the radio that he was captured. So there you go. If he escaped, there's probably nothing they could do because there's no more non-contact apprehension. They could possibly send it to LTO. But anyway, like I said, they did capture him. They just flagged down this older gentleman. Unfortunately, he's not wearing a crash helmet. And if he's patting his pockets like that, maybe there's no license to show either because he doesn't have one or he left it at home. You'll see the enforcer taking a photo as evidence just in case the violation is contested later. Oh look, he does have a crash helmet. He just wasn't wearing it. Apparently he's a Kagawa. He can't show an OR, CR or driver's license. So that's not a good sign, is it? When the team tried to enter this road, there were actually double parked jeepneys. They asked them to show a terminal permit, which they've been unable to do. So they're now being issued tickets, even for illegal parking or obstruction. See over there how the jeepney has decided to just sit and wait next to the parked vehicle. This is a two-way street, but they're turning it into mayhem. And if you look here, you'll see a lot of people walking in the road. Actually, I saw a lot of school children earlier. Why? The jeepneys even took the sidewalk, so that's being issued a ticket also for illegal parking. And according to enforcers, that's actually meant to be the terminal for the jeepneys over there. But for some reason, they turned the road into their terminal. They just flagged down this rider here. He had a young schoolgirl in the back, no crash helmet. He also doesn't have a crash helmet. You see the sidewalk clearing team are helping to take this stuff inside. If they put their business on their own private property, no one will have a problem. But if it's out here on the sidewalk, that's the time it becomes a problem. No confiscation, so it might come back later. So far, there's no driver for this Jeep need that's considered to be illegally parked, unattended. And just look at the tires on this. The crazy thing is, even like this, even holes in the body, broken lights, things like that. Jeepneys can still get their registration with LTO every year. And further along the road, you'll see a lot more vehicles being ticketed for illegal parking. You can see a motorcycle rider in the background just rode away without a helmet. Look at this, for example, all of the enforcers on the road and they're still riding with no crash helmets. Look at that Barangay police. You're meant to set a good example for everyone else to follow. And you'll see the sidewalk clearing team are now taking down this basketball hoop. There goes one jeepney now towed by the tow truck. According to enforcers, he had a delinquent or invalid driver's license. And how do you know that this is a jeepney terminal? Well, just look at the floor. All the garbage when they're drinking, eating, it goes here. Yes, some of it could be commuters, but honestly, if you go around any terminal, you often see drivers throwing their garbage on the floor. That's the unfortunate truth. And there goes another jeepney being pulled behind the tow truck, considered to be illegally parked unattended. There goes one of the cars that was also towed. That's a nice motorcycle, but unfortunately not wearing a crash helmet. And there's one more rider flagged down. Daddy and child on the back, no crash helmets. Really nice bike, obviously invested in the bike, but not so much in safety. And you'll see this truck here was also picked up for illegal parking. And we actually bumped into Aaron from Ondoy Boat. These boats are very, very famous, often used during disasters and things like that. So pretty cool to bump into him in person. Actually, when he posted photos of this on his Facebook page, I thought they were parked under a flyover. But actually, this is private property. They also have some other emergency vehicles here. Very, very cool to see in person. Actually, the boats are a lot more heavy duty compared to what I expected. Sometimes you look at the price and you think, oh, that's a big investment. But when you see the quality, when you feel the quality, you realize, okay, you get what you pay for. This is something that's really going to last. And I think, in fact, he said this one's been in duty since 2016. And although it has, you know, a few minor scrapes, it looks basically as good as new.